Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel, Kalanadi. Today I want to talk about more of my anticipated releases of 2017 for July, August, and September. I have read barely any of the books I mentioned in my January through June video, but that's not going to stop me because book anticipation, guys. I am going to backtrack a little bit here and talk about three books I think that are coming out in May and June that I missed in my first video. One of them because I didn't know it existed. <laughs> so the first book I want to mention is coming out in May and this is Thick as Thieves by Megan Whalen Turner. This is the fifth and long awaited next book in the Thief series. This series started many years ago with The Thief, which I need to reread. This was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books when I was a teenager. And Eugenides, or Jen, the main character, is one of the few fictional crushes I've ever had. Him and Ramsey is from the Amelia Peabody mystery series. Uh, my 16 year old self was really, really down with Jen. <laughs> anyway, Thick as Thieves is coming out in May. I had no idea it was coming out until it was recommended to me on Amazon and I was like, how did I not know about this? Now, admittedly, it doesn't sound like Jen is going to be a character at all in Thick as Thieves. He hasn't been a main character since book two, if I recall correctly. I'm still excited about it though. I mean, Megan Whalen Turner hasn't had a new book out in many years. <laughs> and I just want to read more by her. Next are two more June releases. The first one, The Rise and Fall of Dio Dio by Neil Stevenson and Nicole Galland, is one that a lot of other people mentioned earlier in the year and I was kind of holding out for a better description of it and now that I've read the description I am actually very excited about this one. When Melisande Stokes, an expert in linguistics and languages, accidentally meets military intelligence operator Tristan Lyons in a hallway at Harvard University. It is the beginning of a chain of events that will alter their lives and human history itself. The full description of this book makes it sound like it's a fantasy and science fiction mix because maybe magic and time travel are both involved. I would prefer more straight science fiction, if I gotta be honest, but Neil Stevenson is involved. I will probably really enjoy it. And the fact that it has linguistics possibly in it makes me very, very excited. The other June release is one that I think I heard from Claire or maybe from Katie Loves to Read. I, I can't remember which one, but it sounded so much fun. This is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. And the description says, an unforgettable tale of two friends on their grand tour of 18th century Europe who stumble upon a magical artifact that leads them from Paris to Venice in a dangerous manhunt fighting pirates, highwaymen, and their feelings for each other along the way. This sounds like, you know, possibly Regency era queer romance and that whole grand tour around Europe thing sounds fascinating. I hope I'm not building this book up to be more than it is, but it just sounds fun. Finally, on to books that are coming out in July. The first one has a really big question mark on it because Amazon changed the release date of this book to 2018 and I don't know if that was a mistake or not because everywhere else I look it still says July but nobody's talking about it yet. And this is An Informal History of the Hugos by Jo Walton. This is supposed to be like her collection of essays or blog posts that she did for Tor.com and maybe some other material about Hugo Award winners. And you know I want to read this so bad. And it was announced for July, but I have heard absolutely nothing about it since the initial release. I'm really nervous it's not gonna come out this year because I wanna read it so badly. And it's Jo Walton but I may have to just wait. If you have heard anything more about this book, please let me know. I really, really need it. I've just noticed that a bunch of the books that I have enjoyed recently or that I'm really looking forward to as fun reads are Regency era. <laughs> Because the next one is Arabella and the Battle of Venus by David D. Levine. This is the second book in the Adventures of Arabella Ashby series, and it is Regency era, steampunk, alternate history, and a whole lot of fun. I actually really liked the romantic element in the first book, and I wanted to see those two together really badly. I think this is also considered kind of young adultish. I've seen it on young adult lists, even though when I read it, I did not know that. You could read it as both, I suppose. 
So the second book, the description says, Arabella's wedding plans are interrupted when her fiancé is captured by the French and sent to a prisoner of war camp on swampy Venus. This, this had to happen because it's Regency era, I can tell. Now Arabella must find passage to an enemy-controlled planet in the middle of a war, bribe or fight her way past vicious guards, and rescue her captain. I'm cool with the lady rescuing the man. <laughs> In August, two of my favorite authors have new books coming out. The first one is Summerland by Hanno Ryaniemi. He is the author of the Jean Le Flambeur science fiction series, which I loved. They were very tough, but very rewarding to get through. Lots of quantum physics. Ryan Yemi is a very smart person. <laughs> this new book, however, sounds like dark fantasy. I hope it's not uncomfortably dark for me. I can be a bit iffy about that. It also sounds like alternate history, very different from the other books I've read by Ryan Yemi. So it says that it's set in 1958 when World War II never happened. In the 1930s, the armies of the afterlife conquered the world of the living. The ruthless, immortal Summer Lords and their ectoplasmic machines rule a dark Britain with an iron fist. A gifted young medium and a bastard daughter of Harry Houdini discover a map of the other side that could break their power. But how do you start a revolution against rulers you cannot escape even in death? Yes, it sounds very fantasy and very dark, and I am going to read it or try to because I love Ryan Yemi. <laughs> we will see. And of course, the other book I'm expecting in August is The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. This is the final book, the conclusion to the Broken Earth trilogy that started with the fifth season. I love the first two books a lot. These are the best things I think Jemison has ever written, and I expect that The Stone Sky will be a very difficult but explosive and stunning conclusion. In September, there are going to be politics because Null States by Malka Older is coming out. This is the follow-up to last year's Infomocracy, and I think this series is now called The Sentinel Cycle. And this is what Goodreads has to say about the second book. After the last controversial global election, the global infomocracy that has ensured 30 years of world peace is fraying at the edges. As the new supermajority government struggles to establish its legitimacy, agents of information, capital I, across the globe strive to keep the peace and maintain the flows of data that feed the new world order. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> it was really shocking how relevant Infomocracy suddenly felt last year. It came out a little bit before the craziness really started to happen, not just in the US, but kind of in the world. And I think a lot of people picked up that first book to read it because of world events. I read it slightly before and it was really good, but I expect that Null States will be even better for me. I will be looking for connections and maybe commentary on what's going on right now. Or it could be not about that at all, who knows. But Malka Older seems to me to really get politics. Sometimes when I'm, I'm reading like fantasy or science fiction and they have invented politics, I feel like the author doesn't quite grasp what real politics feels like, but Malka Older knows. The final book, which is also coming out in September, is Providence by Anne Leckie. This book now has a title and a cover, but no description as far as I know. It was originally announced for October, but it got pushed back a week or so, which I'm happy about. That's a week less that I have to wait for it. So I don't really know what the book is about. I heard Leckie read the first chapter of it at Worldcon back in August, and it sounded very intriguing. But other than that, I, I don't really know what the story is going to be. It is set in the same universe as her first trilogy, but not in the Ratch Empire, not in Ratch space, so it could just be about something else entirely. However, it's by Anne Leckie, and I don't need to know anything more than that to want it very, very badly. Those are more of my very eagerly anticipated books for May through September of this year. If you want to read any of these too, or if you think I've missed something that I would really enjoy, please comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back to talk to you again soon, and until then, bye!